Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about landing a better job, and if it's for 50,000 going to 70,000, or from 70,000 going over 100K, I wanna go over some positions for you that you can get into this field, and there's wide variety. So stay to the end. If you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share, and let's jump into it. All right, everyone. So this video is going to be about making a decent amount of money. I don't want to say a lot of money, but a decent amount of money in the technology field. So my question to you, are you tired of feeling stuck? Maybe you want to make that next move, but you're scared, or maybe you don't feel like you don't have the skills or whatever the case may be. I want to go ahead and talk over some points today that maybe can help you. And hopefully if it does, you can put it in the comments that it did. If not, just sorry that uh, you came over. But <clears throat> so the first thing I wanna do is talk about and cover different tech fields, the roles that pay the most, so high paying positions, and different strategies to maximize your earning potential. So I'm gonna talk about from my experience from when I was 17, 16 years old to the age that I am today. You take a guess in the comments how old I am. If you don't know, just put it in the, in, in the comments. If you do know, don't put it to uh, give it away. Anyhow, the first thing I wanna talk about is the, high, the highest paying positions in tech, right? So the first one obviously is cybersecurity. In my opinion, I really enjoy cybersecurity, so obviously I can talk about that. So different roles in cybersecurity that you can go down. Security engineering, security analyst, penetration testing. And what are the average salaries for these positions? You can start as low as 80, 90K and go over to 200K, right? So, you know, the sky's the limit on how much you make. And why is it so lucrative, right? Like why, ask yourself that, like why is cybersecurity engineers, cybersecurity folks making so much money? The reason why they make so much money is because cyber threats are increasing, right? So definitely, definitely consider it, join the club. And what are some certifications that you can consider getting into cybersecurity? There's OSCP, PMPT, CPTS, CBBH, all on the offensive side. Then you have stuff like from Blue Team Level 1, CYSA, Security Plus, and all those certifications as well. So that's the cybersecurity space. The next one I wanna talk about is cloud computing. So cloud computing, you have cloud architect, you have DevOps engineer, solutions architect. So these roles really make decent amount of money and the salary ranges. And this one, I don't really do this. So I asked a few friends that did cloud engineering and they make buku bucks. I have a friend that makes 350K and then I have a friend that makes as low as 120K. So I would say between 120 to 350, that's probably where you're looking at. And you know, sky's the limit, but those are the ranges that I just jotted down. And some certifications to get into cloud computing, you can do the AWS Certified Solutions Architect, Microsoft Azure certifications. These are all different and you know, you can do GCP, which is Google Cloud Platform and all that good stuff. So the next one here, I just jotted down three security, excuse me, software development and engineering. So you can be a software engineer, mobile developer, full stack developer, and the ranges for salary range about 100 to 250K, I would say. And the hot language is in 2024. And correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not a programmer, but from what I've seen on the interwebs and asked around, Python, JavaScript, Rust, and Go, all the go-to languages. Oh, that's that's cool. Go, go to. Anyhow, the next thing I want to talk about is how to maximize your earnings in tech, right? So we're going to go ahead and just focus on the things that will level you up as quickly and you can stand out in the community. You can stand out to your peers, whatever, right? Get the right certifications. Yes, certifications aren't everything, but if you're trying to get into a field, you need these certifications to validate your skill set. So you can, you know, talk of, I can talk about AWS certs, CISSP, CPTS, CBBH, PMPT, the sky's the limit, right? You know, the list can go on and on about the alphabet soup of certifications. And why is it important to get certifications? Certifications showcase that you're specialized 
in a certain topic and you can express that knowledge, right? And makes you more marketable for sure. The next thing I wanna talk about as far as maximizing this earning is develop a niche skill, right? For an example, bug bounties. You can lead a bug, you can find a bug and you can make 30, 50, $100,000. There's millionaires out there that are bug bounty hunters. And the cool thing is you can do it whenever you want. You don't have a nine to five, right? So that's always cool. That's pretty much what I have. Develop your own niche. For an example, be a bug bounty. You can be a penetration tester. You can be a security engineer. Whatever you want, develop that skill. So the next one here that I think is super, super critical, and I do it, and I think everyone should do it because, you know, I don't know if you're not in America. This is a free country. We have the ability to do whatever we want, right? That's the beauty of being in America. So you can freelance. You can do side hustles. Whatever you need to do to make your you know, family eat, do it, right? So create a course. I did it. I created a course. I have my little YouTube video that you're watching this on. Am I making millions? No, but I, I'm making a few bucks that helps me with my, with my bills, with whatever I have to pay, right? So write content, consult, right? Do whatever you need to do. And uh, if you guys are interested in getting to the world of cyber, check out my course, Hack Your Way In, right? Check it out. And uh, it's in the description, so you can click on the link and sign up today. And then you can also sign up for different platforms like Upwork, Fiverr, or consult with any kind of pen testing or security services, right? If you, you find a, you know, we'll get into the next topic, which is networking. So I should have put networking before freelance, but when you start networking with folks, you start learning about what people uh, like and what people are doing, and then you establish that relationship. Then when you get that relationship, then you can start asking around, hey, like, you know anyone that's doing some side work? You know, maybe at night you're bored and you're watching YouTube videos and watching me on the internet at seven, eight o'clock at night where you can maybe do a pen test and work three or four hours a night and make an extra couple bucks. Obviously, it's all up to you and how much time you have, but yeah. So the next thing I see, I, I wrote down here, is networking is everything. So attend different conferences, B-Sides. I was recently at B-Sides Orlando. You can go to different meetups. Super, super critical to do that. All right, so the next section here we can talk about is remote work and global opportunities. The reason why I wrote this down because obviously sky's the limit with funds. You can make money wherever you are. I, this is my belief and I, I truly, truly uh, believe that. If you work for an international company, right, you can you know, check out some, like if you're overseas, maybe you wanna work for Meta, maybe you wanna work for Twitter, or maybe you wanna work for these big, big companies where, where maybe you wanna be in somewhere like Europe or Dubai or whatever, and they pay really well, but you live maybe in somewhere that they don't pay, like. So maybe South America, there's some really, really good people. Maybe even in the U.S., there's probably some states that they don't really pay well, but maybe you can get a remote opportunity that pays you better just because maybe you live in like a, a little town in, I don't know, in Wyoming. I don't even know if Wyoming, I've never been there, but maybe it's a little town that there's not a lot of jobs, but now you can get a remote job, make a good living, and uh, and stay in your house and, and do that. And... You can also do different kinds of streams of income and you can teach on different platforms like uh, I would say Udemy, Teachable, YouTube, sky's the limit. Like I say, I I'm truly believe sky's the limit. So that's, that's, that's the next one. And this one I want to talk about is leveraging passive income strategies. So now we can talk about YouTube channel, a blog, uh, a course, and or maybe outside of tech, maybe have rental properties and all that stuff. But this is about tech technology. So you can have a YouTube channel. I have a YouTube channel. Does it make buku bucks? No, <laughs> you'll be surprised what I make on YouTube. But it's, uh, you know, if you're here, subscribe to the channel, make sure you subscribe, share and all that good stuff. But you know, you get ad, ad revenue. That's where I make my money. And it's not a lot, but it's something. You could do sponsorships. If you guys if anyone out there knows anyone, I would love to start doing sponsorships. That's that's awesome. 
And another one is affiliate programs. Like I'm affiliated with TCM. I'm affiliated with my hacker tech, with Hack the Box. Some of these other platforms like NordVPN and other other companies. So if someone gets a you know a course or a product or some you know if they use my link i get a little a, a little a couple pennies out of it right so that's always a good thing it's passive and then uh like i said you can do courses you can do an ebook on different different topics that you like to talk about and you're good at so the next one here i want to talk about is key mistakes to avoid don't be like me so you can just say for example don't rely only on one skill or a job, right? Always start and continue learning. Say for an example, I wanna use this as an example. If you're a cybersecurity engineer and you're doing some kind of thing during your day, maybe you're doing Mimecast or maybe you're using Recorded Future, maybe you're using uh, these kind of, these other applications, maybe Splunk, maybe uh, MD, Microsoft MDE or whatever you're using, but now at night you're doing pen testing. You want to learn more on the offensive side. Continue learning, and now you can have a broader skill set to go on to that next uh, position. So avoid burnout. So burnout from overwork can be a killer. And I know friends that do it. I try not to do it. This is the God honest truth. Like I work my my day job, and when I have time. I'll do some videos and, and talk about some stuff like I'm talking about here, but I try not to kill myself. I, I, I like my, my time with my family, with my, my free time, go to the gym, go do whatever, play hockey, but don't chase the money. I know this might sound contradicting, but make the money that you can, but don't kill, your save, don't kill yourself for it, all right? And that's why those passive income streams are definitely cool because when you're sleeping, you're still making money, right? Uh, yeah, well, I, I put a little note here. Don't chase money at the expense of health, right? So remember, these are the key mistakes to avoid. Ignoring soft skills, meaning communication, collaboration, and negotiation skills are super, super important. Communication, like you learn how to communicate. Collaboration, learn how to be a team member because if you're siloed and you're by yourself, it's going to be a lonely, lonely place in that island trust me i've been there and i'm not a big fan that's me so that's pretty much what i'm gonna cover today in today's video so obviously so now that you know different kinds of paths in the cybersecurity and in the tech industry what's your next step what are you gonna do right put it in the comments below if you found this really helpful let me know and now you can jump into cybersecurity freelancing build your own tech brand maybe you know like i did i did infosec pat I didn't know it was going to be this little four years later, you know, or, you know, you know what I mean? This, this little thing that I have, you know, I just do it because I enjoy it. I enjoy helping people and whoever gets value out of it gets value out of it. If not, sorry. And then obviously you can go ahead and check out my course. Like I said, please check it out, share it. If anyone's interested in, in penetration testing, it's an entry level course. So that's definitely a, um, uh, a good one. I rewatched it. I uh, wanted to see how I did. I really enjoyed it and I got a lot of positive feedback. So, you know, I guess I did something right. So obviously make sure you like the video, comment, subscribe, share and all that good stuff. And that's pretty much it. So I want to thank you so much for checking this video out. And until I see you in the next one, have a good one and stay safe.